Hello everybody, welcome back to Zombie Zoology. I'm Zombie Zebra and today we are talking about the old battery theory. The old battery theory is considered to be the more updated spoon theory. Some people find it, it describes them better. Some people still prefer the spoon theory. It is totally up to you. I just wanted to present you with this other option. So batteries are like piggy banks. You can do things to recharge them. For example, your phone battery, you plug it in at night. Just like as a human, you sleep at night. And how well you sleep will affect how much energy you have to use the next day. So like I, a chronically ill person, do not sleep very well. Oftentimes I'll wake up without a fully charged battery. Now a chronically ill person's energy level can kind of be compared to like a really old used up battery. If it is a phone battery you've been using for a long, long time, you'll start to notice it doesn't hold charge as well. Your full charge that used to last you like day, a whole day or maybe multiple days will suddenly only last you a couple of hours and eventually maybe just an hour and that can be very frustrating. This is very similar to how a chronically ill person feels about their energy level. They are in a way the old worn out battery because their illness is affecting their ability both to recharge and to use their energy effectively. Obviously different tasks do take up more or less energy. Just just like more or fewer spoons were assigned to tasks in the spoon theory, you will find that using the Maps app, listening to music, and uh, writing notes in your phone, if you're doing that all at once, it's going to drain battery a lot faster than if you're just doing one thing. This is the same is true of chronically ill people. If they are sitting up in bed writing, that's going to require a lot less energy than playing basketball and trying to trade stocks and teach their kid algebra all at once. That's very overwhelming, just as it would for anybody, but it's exponentially harder on a chronically ill person. Battery charge can also be affected by the weather. If you are a phone user, as I believe every, most everyone is these days, you've probably found that in ex situations of extreme heat, your phone will completely shut down and not be able to function. Some people have also found the same is true in extreme cold. Technology has trouble on both ends of the spectrum, and so do chronically ill people. Extreme changes in weather or long periods of time in one temperature versus another, the body has a really hard time dealing with, especially a chronically ill body. So people's energy levels will oftentimes be affected based on the weather. This is sometimes something people don't consider and something that the spoon theory doesn't necessarily cover. Last and most importantly, a spare battery can help. A spare battery is somebody like a caregiver or a friend, somebody who can come over and either do the things around the house that you don't have the energy to or can just sit there with you and help you emotionally recharge because being chronically ill isn't just physically draining, it is also emotionally draining, which is when it becomes a little more complicated than just the old battery theory because you can't really explain emotions in terms of batteries. But being chronically ill is emotionally draining and having somebody there to either help you physically get things done that you can't or to help you emotionally deal with having a chronic illness, that can act as a spare battery. So people who are in long-term relationships or have really close friendships often find their energy levels are extended when those people are around, which is why humans were you know, kind of designed to be in groups. People weren't designed to be alone. So if you know somebody who is chronically ill, I highly encourage you to be their spare battery as often as you can uh, because they need it. They are working with a very old and battered battery. Thank you for watching, and until next time, hoard those spoons, guys.